Tesla is about to start equipping the Highland refreshed made in China Model 3s with CATL's new M3P batteries, which will boost the capacity by around 10% according to a new report. In addition, the made in China Model Y um, could also get this battery in the future. So let's discuss the details of this report and also why I believe that the North American um, refreshed Model 3 could also get these M3P batteries from CATL. I'm John, and this is Cleaner Watt. On June 29th, an article was published on CNEVPost.com, which revealed that the new Highland refreshed Model 3 would be getting CATL's M3P batteries for the rear wheel drive uh, standard range model. In addition, the author of this article revealed that um, with this battery change, the Model 3 would also be getting a boost in battery capacity going from around 60 kilowatt hours um, to 66 kilowatt hours with the M3P based battery pack. Now, obviously a gain of six kilowatt hours will increase the range uh, a decent amount in this vehicle. And this article does point out that the current range of the rear wheel drive Model 3 is 556 kilometers. So if you add an extra six kilowatt hours to that 60 kilowatt hour pack, that should make the range go over 600 kilometers, which is equal to 373 miles. But do note that we're not talking about an EPA testing cycle here. The testing cycles that are used for vehicles in China generally have a higher number than the EPA numbers, so they're a little more generous. Thus, when you actually calculate this out um, to an EPA calculation, if the US does get such a battery pack in the Model 3 here, which I'll talk about later on in the video, I believe it, there is a good chance that we will get um, these batteries here, um, but nonetheless, the EPA range equivalent would likely mean going from around 272 miles of range for the current rear wheel drive Model 3 to just under 300 miles of range with these new M3P batteries. Now beyond just the Model 3 getting these batteries, um, the author of this article also uh, states the fact that, quote, the 66 kilowatt hour pack is not only available for the upgraded Model 3, but can also be used in future revisions of the Model Y. There's been a lot of excitement about the new Highland uh, refreshed Model 3, and um, we do know some details that have leaked out. Um, but when it comes to uh, kind of the timing for this release, according to this article once again, apparently, um, in China at least, the new Highland Model 3 is supposed to launch, according to sources here, in the third quarter of this year. Now, while that CNEV Post article was all about the Made in China Model 3 uh, getting this new M3P battery pack and the potential of the Made in China Model Y as well in the future, um, I personally believe that that news really does go well with past reports that um, CATL and Tesla might be partnering together um, to build uh, battery cells here in the United States. And I've talked about this in the past, but um, in the past, it was rumored that Tesla would be um, licensing technology from CATL and they would be building some kind of batteries here in the United States using CATL's technology. I believe it's very possible. Um, and I had a little bit of a hunch this might be the case when I talked about this in the past, but I believe it's very possible that Tesla could license the technology to build these M3P batteries here in the United States. Now, um, in August of 2022, on latepost.com, this article was put out, and I have translated this from Chinese to English with Google Translate, so there might be um, some translation issues here and there. Um, but back in August of 2022, someone apparently from Tesla told Late Post that internally, Tesla was actually working to develop their own lithium manganese iron phosphate batteries. And as a reminder, while CATL's um, M3P batteries apparently differ slightly from a traditional lithium manganese um, iron phosphate battery, they are somewhat related. So if Tesla was looking into developing these batteries, it would make sense that they would be interested in licensing this technology 
from CATL, this M3P uh, battery technology. Now, once again, going back to that report, that CATL licensing deal um, that I've referenced in a past video and I referenced earlier. Bloomberg previously reported that Tesla uh, spoke to White House officials about partnering with CATL to build a new US um, battery plant. This article revealed that Tesla would actually own the factory and would license the battery technology from CATL. And this plant could potentially be in Texas. This is something that I talked about in a past video. Um, now we do know once again from that article that Tesla has been looking internally at um, lithium manganese iron phosphate batteries. We also know based on Drew Baglino's comments in Tesla's Q3 2022 conference call um, that Tesla was pursuing um, iron cathode supplies. So Tesla is definitely looking at manufacturing either lithium iron phosphate batteries or lithium manganese iron phosphate batteries. And if Tesla is about to start using these M3P batteries in China and it boosts the range, it would make a lot of sense that they would want to manufacture these batteries in the United States. And by manufacturing them here in the United States, that would allow Tesla to qualify both on the manufacturing end and also um, on the consumer side, the consumer would also benefit from the IRA tax credits. In addition to the consumer tax credit of up to $7,500, under the IRA program, if Tesla manufactured these batteries here in the United States, Tesla as the manufacturer would qualify for up to a $45 per kilowatt hour incentive, and that's for a finished battery pack. Um, not only for manufacturing the batteries themselves, but for manufacturing the finished battery pack. And $45 per kilowatt hour on top of what is already a somewhat affordable cell, um, the lithium manganese iron phosphate batteries, as compared to like a nickel battery, those batteries should be a little bit less expensive. Um, that could make a big difference. And this also could be a key battery technology that Tesla would wanna use in the new compact EV that is planned to be built at their factory in Mexico. As a reminder, the reason why an M3P battery pack would be larger is because these batteries are actually a bit more energy dense than lithium iron phosphate batteries. So really to wrap all this up, CATL's M3P battery technology is an exciting development and it gives us another alternative battery to use in a vehicle. And it really kind of bridges the gap between a nickel based pack and an iron-based pack. Of course, it is related to lithium iron phosphate batteries and it still apparently has iron in it. It's an iron phosphate battery with the addition of manganese. And there's a little bit of a change there from a regular lithium manganese iron phosphate battery. Um, CATL's M3P batteries are not identical to that. They're a slight tweak on that. But nonetheless, those batteries are a good in between where they're more energy dense than the lithium iron phosphate batteries, but a little less energy dense than nickel, but apparently more affordable than nickel batteries. But they provide um, a good medium amount of range, which is perfect for a standard range vehicle and a vehicle potentially, like for instance, the more affordable EVs that are going to be built by Tesla in the future. Um, I'm excited about them and I sure hope that Tesla does indeed start building these batteries in the United States and that we start seeing these batteries in standard range Teslas in the future. Do let me know what you think about all this in the comments section below. I'd love to hear from you. And also I'd like to say once again, thank you to all of those of you who support me through Patreon. Your support makes a big difference and really does help make these videos possible. If you'd like to find out more about how you can support my work through Patreon, I will put a link in the video description. Thank you so much.